What's up guys, thank you for joining me for another episode on Worth Thinkers. This is your first time on NBC View and if you like this type of content, do make sure that you subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos. So let's jump straight into this one. My goodness. Um, it has been quite a long time since uh, I posted a video about Humboro, but my goodness. You see, one of the things that I want us to talk about is the mercy and the long suffering of God. Just imagine that, uh, you know, I saw a video today of him. First of all, the salt ritual and the whole thing that was going on over there. Um, and my, you see, the other thing was his appearance. You know, sometimes when God's spirits, like when it departs from you, it's not a fun thing. And, um, the other thing is he just announced today that uh, his church is closing he doesn't have a building there's no tents there's no you can check out the video for yourself um the other thing i was also mentioning which i listened very closely was um that we are the church which is true we are the church we are the body of christ but one interesting thing that he mentioned was that uh christ is the head now, I, I fully agree that, that Christ is the head of the church, which Colossians explains, and lo, Ephesians talks about it. There's a lot of other verses that explains it. But this is the same people that act like lords over other people's lives. And there was a moment in time where they also were acting as if they run the whole show, and they direct, and they guide, and they do all of these things. And the, the thing is, when, when your grace has come to an end and God moves in and opens the eyes of many, many people, you see, I honestly believe that God brings up certain things for us to open up our eyes to be able to see what is really transpiring right in front of our, our eyes as an act of mercy to try to save us from false and deceptive leaders such as these people. Just just look at, uh, uh, there's, there's a couple, you can look at Alf Lokau, you can look at Bushiri, you can look at a lot of pastors that was exposed to a point where God showed us who they really are. But we still have believers, we still have members of the body, claimed members of the body, that still follow after, that still defend, that still believe that these people are the true men of God. While God is showing us long-suffering and mercy for us to be able to say, I've seen it, God. Thank you for opening my eyes, accepting it, and then leaving. But you see, there's a second problem with this, and it is that church hurt is a real thing that we are dealing with as ministers of the gospel because when people get hurt in the church they leave the whole thing like like it's god who did it to them no if you check out one of the videos that i posted today you'll see that i was talking about the investment that a christian should make in studying and at, uh, buying quiet time spending time with god in trying to build intimacy with knowing God. These are things that we should take accountability of and that we should be doing as believers, as Christians, to try to invest in God's word. You see, one of the interesting stories is that when you look at John chapter 4, when this woman, when Jesus met the woman at the well, one of the things that the woman said, he said that uh, our ancestors said we should worship on this mountain. And you Jews say we must worship in Jerusalem. And you see, the profound thing is that none of them were correct. Both of them were wrong because God says, no. You worship what you don't know. And then he points out certain issues and then says, we should worship him in spirit and in truth. You see, sp the spirit today with a lot of these leaders is fornicated, f uh, 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 fabricated, it is devised, it is turned, it is twisted, 
it is deceit, it is deceitful, and all of these things just to deceive you. And the second part is truth, which you are not investing in. We are not investing in God's word where we can find, discern, and try to sift where error and truth is. And I truly believe that God is long-suffering because he gives us chance after chance after chance to try to see that this is serious. We need to we need to run. We we need to head for the for, for the gates. We need to make a move. We need to find some true, honest, biblical, integrity church and try to serve there. But when you look at your own heart today and you see the investment that you made in, in some of these false believers, one test you can do is just look at your heart and see how prideful, how lot of desires empty this like desires that has nothing to do with God it is almost something that you want to build up to try to inquire I want a house I want a car I want this and I want this and God is keep exposing this the supposed prophets and at the end of the day we still fall for them so that is just something that I wanted to share today to see think about it think about your investment maybe you are investing in the wrong things in the wrong god in the wrong person and that's just my thought guys until next time do make sure that you check out the other videos they will be down in the pin comments until next time guys